People from all over the world traveled to Bemidji this past weekend to take the Bemidji plunge, and this year was no different. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore tells us about the causes this 15-year tradition benefits. It's an honorary first jump whenever you are ready. Call it brave, daring, or just plain crazy to jump into a frozen lake. But whatever you call it, the Burr Midgey Plunge has proven to be a great fundraiser for some local causes. People are doing costumes, people are doing dances, I mean, anything to keep our spirits up in this weather. Well, I think it's great for the community. Anytime the community can get together and have events like this, I think it helps build a, build a stronger community. Over the past 15 years, the plunge has seen jumpers from as far as China and Africa, not to mention all over the U.S. Since there was no Winterfest, the Bemidji JCs took over the planning. This year, 64 people took the jump of a lifetime. Proceeds from the event went on to benefit the Northwoods Battered Women's Shelter, Support Within Reach Sexual Violence Center, and the American Indian Resource Center at BSU. The JCs, we select some nonprofits for to uh, give the net proceeds to, and it's just part of how the JCs give back to our community. Our communities give so much to us, so it's the least they can do to get a bunch of people to jump into a hole. We like to be involved with the JCs, be part of the community, and. Um, Help give back. The JCs have helped us here quite a bit. Standing up on the platform and getting into the water takes a lot of guts, especially when you're staring in the eye of 29 degree water. It really takes your breath away when you jump in. So even getting on the ladder to get out, um, your muscles just don't want to do what they're supposed to do. Most came out of the freezing water and went straight into the hot tub that was nearby. Overall, the year was a success, and community members are already looking forward to the 2019 plunge. I think next year's plunge is going to be great when we tie it in. Hopefully we can tie it in with a hockey day in Minnesota here in town, and then hopefully we'll have the Winterfest back. Um, we just had a lot of fun with it. One of the big things that I want to say, too, is we're just really thankful as, as being chosen as a beneficiary. It was great to get our name out there a little bit. Reporting of Bemidji, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. Oh, I'm disappointed. You took the jump and we didn't even see you. Oh, I was at the very beginning. Oh, you were? I missed yes, it. Yes, oh. I was the very stupid you, Cupid at the very beginning oh, you were the of very that. <laughs> Cold water? Chilly, yeah. but I was actually warmer degrees, getting right? out after, yeah. afterwards. It wasn't too bad. Now, the bunkhouse in Bemidji is still fundraising for the plunges beneficiaries. You can drop off a plunge bracelet for a dollar donation at their location until noon tomorrow. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.